All right, let us evaluate this decomposition for this matrix A. The first step, of course, is to evaluate the matrix A transpose A, which equals this matrix right here. The next step is to take the square root of this matrix, which of course requires evaluating the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix, and subsequently the eigenvalue decomposition of this matrix. So let's find out what the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix are. Let's see, eigenvalues and eigenvectors right here. So here we have three eigenvalues and three eigenvectors. You can see that I very carefully chose the matrix A so that all of the eigenvalues of the matrix A transpose A are perfect squares. That means that A transpose A has the following eigenvalue decomposition. So the columns of the matrix X are the eigenvectors of the matrix A transpose A. And as you can see, they're orthogonal. We could have chosen them to be orthonormal by normalizing each one of these vectors. But since we're using this computational tool, it doesn't really matter because we won't have any problem inverting this matrix. All right, next comes the diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues on the diagonal, which are 25, 225, and 2025. And then finally, the inverse of the matrix X. Therefore, the matrix S has a very similar eigenvalue decomposition, except instead of the eigenvalues themselves, we have to put their square roots on the diagonal. So here we have 5, square root of 225 is 15, and the square root of 2025 is 45. So here we're going to have our matrix S once I evaluate this product, and here it comes. All right, so here is the matrix S. Let's copy it over here. We now have our matrix S, and the final step is to determine the matrix Q, which of course equals A S inverse. Q equals A S inverse. So we can take A from right here and multiply it by S inverse. And the result is this matrix right here. So this is our matrix Q. So let's now put it all together. We have that the matrix A, which is this matrix right here, equals the orthogonal matrix Q times the symmetric matrix S. And just to make sure that we did it correctly, let's multiply these two matrices together. And we get the matrix A. So we did it correctly. So here we go. A equals orthogonal matrix Q times the symmetric matrix S.